Hello, I'm Seema and welcome to part 7 of the chapter Periodic Classification of Elements. In the previous video, I told you about the periodic, the modern periodic table and the basic layout of the elements and how according to increasing atomic number, the elements were arranged. Now, in order to understand the periodic trends and to be able to understand the elements, whether they are metals or are they non-metals, how would they behave in the chemical reactions, would they, be, or would they form ionic compounds or would they form covalent compounds or uh, would they prefer not to react at all, would the reactions be violent or would they be slow. All of this can be predicted just by knowing the electronic configuration of elements. And in the previous video, I told you how electronic configurations are related to every uh, and how this entire periodic table has been made on the basis of that periodic classific uh, the uh, electronic configuration. Elements that have similar outer electronic configuration, they fall under each other in every group and therefore they have properties which are similar to the preceding element in the same group. So if we know the first 20 elements, if we kind of somehow memorize the first 20 elements and then we memorize the next 10 elements, the first 20 elements give us an idea of the S block elements and the P block elements. The next 10 elements, that is 30 from 21 to 30, is the first transition series. Therefore, they help us to know the properties of these transition elements. And if we somehow learn the symbols, at least, of the elements from 57 to 71, then we know the lanthanide series. So these form the inner transition elements. The rest of the elements you really don't have to memorize because as you do the, uh, the as you study the groups, you would know that those falling in the same group have similar properties and have similar electronic configurations and by and by you learn them. So this video is to help you to learn these, the elements. You know, when I was a kid and I tried to memorize these elements, I had, was a little musical. So I made a tune and a song out of the first 20 elements. And that's how I learned it. Some people like to make sentences out of this. Some people like to pictureize, visualize these as uh, something they relate the elements to something and they visualize. So whatever technique works for you, use that. But try to learn the first 20 elements, the next 10, that is the first 30 elements and the first inner transition series, that is the lanthanide series. I think if you know this much, you are good to um, solve a lot of problems and not only uh, solve your problems, you'll be able to predict a lot of properties. You know what to expect of an element. I'm going to play a tune and I'd expect you to first follow the tune and then I'll, uh, I'll sing the first 20 elements in pauses so that you can repeat after me and then we'll have it all together. So let's start first with my way and then I'll share a little bit more also. So this is something that I've specially prepared for you. Listen to the tune first. start singing this and you'll repeat after me we'll do it twice and we'll repeat the first 20 elements and hopefully if you just play this song over and over in your head and keep singing it you'll memorize the first 20 elements by the end of the first day so let's start now helium lithium hydrogen Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, 
Glory neon, glory neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminum. So, this is how you're going to repeat it. So play it again and again so that you can practice this. And now I will sing the 10 elements and then the next 10 elements. Okay? So I'll sing the 10 elements and then we'll repeat it. Then we'll sing the 10 elements and then repeat it. And then once we're going to sing all of it together. Let's do it. For example, I one many people use different versions of this. Hello, Helena. Listen, babe. Before coming, never offend Flavia Nelson. Now, Maggie, don't allow Silas to pass so close after kissing Carol. Just a sentence. You have to remember it in that sequence to know the elements. I made one such sentence for the next 10 elements, that is the first transition series. Do you know, just like Netflix, there's a, there's a channel which is called Sky TV. Do you know on Sky TV, there's a new superhero like The Flash? His name is Crowman. And the show is called Crowman. So on Sky TV, there's a show called Crowman. And do you know who's playing Crowman in that? It's Fikoni. And do you know, Fikoni is my cousin. So, Fikoni is iron, cobalt, nickel. And do you know, he's my co, copper, zinc, zinc. So, on Sky TV, there's a program called Crowman. And do you know who plays Crowman? It's Fikoni. And do you know, Fikoni is my cousin. So, what have you done? Very easily, you have learned the first 30 elements in sequence. By doing that, you know about the S-block elements, the P-block elements, and 
and the D block elements. And now for the F block elements, the first series, I just memorized the symbols. So I'll share how I did that. I just read them out. I just kept repeating them. So what was it? Lassi, Parnad, Pamsam, Ujigtib, Daiho, Artam, Yiblu. I used to just keep on repeating this and by the end of about an hour, I could memorize it. Lassi, Parnad, Pamsam, Ujigtib, Daiho, Artam, Yiblu. Lassi, Parnad, Pamsam, Ujigtib, Daiho, Artam, Yiblu. So find a way that works for you and memorize these elements. Believe me, you'll be very happy you did, especially during your exams. Thank you for watching. It was fun doing today's video. And if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and share it with all your friends. And please keep coming back for more videos in chemistry. Bye-bye.